Hey, what is up, friends? How you doing? My name's Tony. This is Sketchflix, and today, folks, I'm gonna draw Clancy from Midnight Gospel. Yeah, man. So check this out. I love uh, this show a lot, and I figured, you know what? Let's just do a nice, fun drawing of him. Uh, I did this recently on the live stream, and I just kind of wanted to share what I drew with you. And if you're like me and you like podcast and you like Duncan Trussell, you're going to get a kick out of this. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start out with a uh, rough drawing and layout. So I figured let's do it digitally this time because I want to do some nice, cool effects. So let's start off with just kind of putting uh, Clancy in the pose that I want. Something very simple. You know, he's got his uh, cute, weird alien dog and his big old hat and his earphones and all that fun stuff. So I just wanted to make a nice, simple pose for him because he's a pretty nice, simple guy. So, all right, let's, you know, let's uh, talk a little bit about the show while I explain what I'm drawing. So we're getting the eyes in here. We're just cleaning it up. Lately, I've been like, I kind of like to do a nice rough drawing and then kind of clean up the lines afterwards. That way I get the idea of the pose down and then go in later and work out the details. So it's a very rough drawing, very rough drawing. And I build upon that. So if you're trying to draw this at home, try that step because I think if you try to draw everything at once with a really thick line or something like like a uh, very uh, fine line, it's not gonna look the way you want. It's okay to take some time off <laughs> tough time off, but take some a step back and just draw it nice and neat the way you want it. You know what I'm saying? Let's try that. Anyway, so we're getting the headphones in there and getting his hair in there. And we're getting close, we're getting close. But I took my time with this one. I figured that I'll start doing these kind of how to draw things and just we'll speed it up, right? We're gonna speed it up, but we're gonna also gonna take it easy and show you the whole process and we're going to talk a little bit more about the subject that I am drawing. So if you're not familiar with the show Midnight Gospel, let me tell you, it's about this guy named Clancy. Yeah, Clancy, who is voiced by a stand-up comedian, Duncan Trussell. Now, if you don't know who Duncan Trussell is, oh my God, you got to check him out. He is like Oh my god, he's so funny. He's like a crazy hippie, but I love this guy to death. And his voice does not match the guy that you see. If you hear his voice, like the first time I heard him, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a woman. I thought it was a woman, but I was wrong. <laughs> I was totally wrong. It is uh, just a chill dude, and it's awesome. I didn't know he was working on this show, and I found out later that he was working on it from listening to a podcast, and then I was like, oh my god. He did something that I've always wanted to do, which is a uh, animated podcast. All right, so now we're just gonna get these lines all cleaned up. I'm using uh, Clip Studio Paint for this, I believe. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm using Photoshop for this. I like to bounce between Clip Studio and Paint and Photoshop for my drawings lately because one, um, Clip Studio Paint is really good for comics and I kind of want to get better at just using the software and get more familiar with it. Uh, Photoshop is good for everything else, but I think I'm actually I'm using Photoshop for this because later on in the video, I do a lot more kind of visual effects to try to, you know, make it look kind of spacey and weird. So I'm getting in the shoulder pads, and, not the shoulder pads, the <laughs> shoulder strap and the face put in the hair so when you're doing design similar to this it's good to think of big shapes right like really really big simplified shapes and it helps bring a little bit more uniqueness to the characters now also for line work which I'm doing right now a, a little tip you might want to try doing is try using nice big brush long strokes so what happens is if you say like if you zoom in and you start drawing from there what happens is you don't get nice smooth lines and to really get a good professionally looking inked drawing you want to have some nice thick strong lines confident lines you know what i mean and so don't zoom in so much right 
step out, well, not step out, but like try to leave the, the screen zoomed out as far as you can and take nice big broad strokes. And it's okay if you mess up, you just erase it and do it again and get the stroke that you want. That's the beauty of working digitally. Now I do like doing traditional as well. It's really important to keep that base. So try and try and just try it out, man. So, all right, now we're doing the dog thing with a black hole. I think it poops black holes. I don't remember now. It's been a while since I've seen the show. Like I actually drew this a while ago and I was kind of busy doing some other things. So I figured I shouldn't really get this done. So we're just doing this little small adjustment getting the little dog space dog thing the right way yeah so let me talk a little bit more about the show so the thing is uh, so Clancy has this, this podcast right where he goes to all these different dimensions and interviews people, which is so smart. It's such a good idea. He has all sorts of like really famous people as guests. He has Dr. Drew, uh, Tasha Legaro. Uh, he has Polly Shore, which is an awesome episode. All right, so I like to have a nice gray background so I'm not working off completely white. Usually, if you're working on a completely white background, it kind of throws off the colors, right? Because your eyes get used to the white and it just makes things feel unbalanced. So like when I was a painter, we would always have a background of kind of a brownish kind of wash thing. But you, the point is you never want to work on a completely white background. Right now we're putting in his pink body here. Got his feet, got his uh, headphones. It's extremely cute, by the way. Um, and getting in his satchel. Now, one of the things I really like about this um, character design is it's so simple, but so expressive. And I think it kind of reflects Duncan Trussell's character. Like if you were to look at his aura or something like that, I would think I'd see a giant pink purple dude <laughs> with green eyes and purple hair. I don't know, wearing a giant hat. Or sombrero. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like a hat. Uh, kind of like Gandalf. I don't know. Let's talk a little bit more about the show. So, now, the cool thing about the show is it gets really trippy. Really trippy. And they talk a lot about, a philo about philosophy and just weird, weird stuff. And it might be kind of hard for a couple of people if you're not used to that kind of talk, but it's really, I, I really like it. And I really hope they make more seasons of it. I really like it a lot. It's my cup of tea. So it's one of those shows that you can list, just listen to. You don't even have to look at the trippy psychedelic art, but if you don't look at the psychedelic art, it won't make it, yeah, you're missing something because it's really special. So uh, right now we are adding some shadow layers. Uh, I do the, I do a really simple trick where I use a multiply layer and I fill it with a dark color and then I reduce the opacity. Now, is this the best way to do it? Eh, I don't know, but it's simple. It gets the job done. All right, let's get this background here though. So we're putting a bunch of different colors in there and now I am gonna mess with the settings. So I put a little blur in there, but I need to make it more trippy, kind of more Clancy-like. Adding some atmospheric effects, and there you have it. Uh, that is Clancy from Midnight Gospel Step by Step. It was really cool to do. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what we got here. Yeah, cool. All right. Listen. If you like this, let me know in the chat. I got a lot more videos coming, and I'm also on Twitch now, drawing live. So if you get a chance to check it out, uh, I am on Twitch.